We are here at Don't Ever Bank Care Field in Cracksome Skull, Florida. Come here for the retirement. Stay here for the drive through funeral services. Getting buried has never been so quick and easy. I wouldn't mind taking a dirt nap here. Although my dream for years has been to be soaked in rum, then thrown into a volcano. <laughs> I like the idea of going out with a bang. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Baltimore Razors battle. The Crocs and Skull Jugulars. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? It's a beautiful day for MFL football, at least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works the deep fry at the concessions. He said how, not who, you idiot, even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. why we love the MFL. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps outside to the ten. And in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, yeah, you see they have plays just for killing them. You know what? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The greatest, the greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Defense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> First down in a mile. He throw in the defense made him pass. Oh, with a brutal hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw in her. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, he should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. 
straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and nine. Hot. Hot. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Yeah. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular and run. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service, located just off the Beltway, exit five. <laughs> and it's first and ten. a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. You think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. Oh, and he just turned ginormous. Look out! And that hit jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble! That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and it don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. Second down, the defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions. Boom!
And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him and it's first and ten Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Just knocked him into the next. Oh no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Second down and seven. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defender with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to flop it, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. Oh. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Third down and, well, good luck. And that's another turnover for the... One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. And like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. Does he like original or extra crispy? Now it looks like extra crispy. And you gotta stay focused on the field, Bricks. You can't lose your head in the heat of battle like he did. It just slows the game down. And it's 
first and ten. And another interception. This court. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Yeah, man, I was hanging on the kettle now. You know what happened? <laughs> and it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic. A terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. <gasps> Second down and nine. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. is up for grabs. Third down and nine. Five yard gain on that fast play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be worthy of a jumbotron shot. Yeah, nice observation, Briggs. Great color work as usual. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. <laughs> this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. A man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And they just keep picking up first downs. The offense has no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect... Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the cube. Oh, what a hit. Hey, Bricks, what does it feel like to get hit like that? Uh, like being dropped off a ten-story building with a refrigerator strapped to your back and landing on a fire hydrant. Yeah, great analogy. Oh, no, no, that really happened. Cod game got a little out of hand last night. You can't have five aces, you dumbass. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. 
You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Rex. Very smart. The defender says, I don't think so. Third down and ten. This guy's a brick. The defense calls. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. The punt goes into the end zone, and it's a touchback. And it's first and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. First and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Hot, 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 two, hot. First and ten. Hey. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Hey. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 40. Close, but no cigar. And it's first and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to... And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. First and ten. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. First and ten. And the quarterback, oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just, oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's 
It's first and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. That's a catch for a 10-yard gain. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Third down and a pussy here. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Second down. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Crap, can I kill him? If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick. He will. And the ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when... Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. That ball was almost intercepted. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Oh, killer hit, literally. I love how they explode into a shower of blood and guts. Yeah, the pieces of him are flying into the cheap seats. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and he just pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and... He was still talking, he'd be saying... 
Psycho killer Keska say, what the fuck, 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 fuck. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but well, I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Hot two, hot three. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Third down, and the punter is warming up. The receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. Does the QB know which team he's on? If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. It might make more sense. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And he's running like a moose right now. And it's first and ten. Hot one. I personally think the ginormous guy is coming. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Oh, man. Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The 20. He's at the 10. It's a touchdown. I would have thought you had that muscles to move like that. Or a brain or a nervous system, but I see your point, Bricks. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. 
When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps outside trying to... And in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. And it's first and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. I love the murder ball, dirty trick. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown! Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. Boom! Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And another interception. This quarterback is going to... Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? <laughs> and it's first and ten. for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Second down and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First down and seven. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's all those power that win. What a high cool.
Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Uh, if I was that QB, I'd be pissed. <laughs> Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. Just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the top. And he's off to the races. No touchdown today. Looks like that defender ate his bleedies. This they might consider calling a kill the ref play. Just saying. And it's first and goal. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. And that, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Seriously, man, you think you'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Third down and long. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. Third down and... Well, good luck. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And that pass play is good for eight yards.
And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for a ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 20. He could go all the... And never mind. And it's first and ten. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? It's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Uh, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, and it's first and ten. Scrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hits. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down and more than the QB would like. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Grim, what have been exceptions? Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect him. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks.
And it's first and ten. his way out of that tackle. Well, that's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim! The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Which coincidentally happens to be Brett's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. And the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And that is called for a first down. And it's first time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy. The ref goes a penalty. You know, the NFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. Yeah. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Huh? Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got dead mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. First down. Give this guy a few kicks. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. <laughs> The Crunchum Skull jugular seem to have run out of people to kill and win this one by forfeit. I should have known they'd know about anatomy. What with their name at all? I didn't think they'd actually pull the other guys apart and demonstrate it, though. This was practically a science show. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. An alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now and we go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say? Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every other...